Hello everyone. I am thrilled to be here. My name is Amanda Tuit, and I've been working as an advocate. I've done this for many years, and I've also worked for video relay services as an intern related with technology. I recently established a new business two years ago and the name of that business is Access Vine. Currently, we're focused on providing training for hearing individuals to be able to understand how they can work with deaf, deaf and hard of hearing, and deaf blind individuals, as well as teaching self-advocacy skills for students such as you. Now we are expanding and growing and we're very excited. So you may ask, what's my secret? Well, let me tell you, it's self-advocacy. Some people are curious about when self-advocacy begins, and honestly, it begins right now for you. Self-advocacy means to be able to speak up and to say something whenever you're not understanding what's going on or communication that's taking place. It means speaking up when you don't understand the interpreter or cart or the captions. It means to speak up when you can't comprehend what a hearing person is telling you. Self-advocacy is really helping you to get equal access. It will also help other deaf individuals who are facing similar challenges as you. When you self-advocate, you're teaching hearing people something new. This will encourage them to provide access to other deaf people as well. So that means you're successfully self-advocating for yourself and that hearing person will forever remember you. They will remember that they learned something about working with deaf and hard of hearing and deaf blind individuals and the things that they need for communication access. So what does communication access mean? Well, it means fully understanding everything for you and for me. It means the way that you would expect all hearing people to know how to provide access to communication with you. Unfortunately, many hearing people do not know how to do this. They don't know how to communicate with you. That's why it's okay to assume that possibly someone does not know how to communicate or how to work with a deaf or hard of hearing or deaf blind individual. It requires a few things. Number one, it requires patience. You have to give that person time to learn about how to communicate with you. Second, you have to have an open mind and an open heart. So that means we don't judge a person. They just didn't know. Be kind. Third is education. Learning about your rights to communication access. And then that way you can explain to another person about your rights to communication access. Sometimes they simply don't know what your rights are you become a well-prepared and knowledgeable regarding your rights so that you can teach others, you can teach hearing people. Also, one critical key part of this whole thing is to understand yourself and to learn about your identity as a deaf and hard of hearing or deaf blind person. Do you know what's needed for communication access? If you need more support, that's fine, not a problem, and you would contact the Office for Deaf and Hard of Hearing Services here in the state of Texas. They would be available to connect with you and to help connect you with somebody who's like you. Also, another important factor is self-confidence. You know, having the confidence to be able to speak up, stand up for what you need, and know when and how to get it. It's important to keep in mind 
that you know where to find services. You know, when you are contacted by an employer or someone who wants to interview you, they're going to possibly ask you, where can I find an interpreter? Do you know that information? Do you have it ready in a list? Do you have a list of interpreting agencies ready? The key to success is to be prepared. You need to have your list of information available for hearing people who you will meet in your future. Also, if you don't have that list available and ready, that's okay. You need to find your resource specialist in your region. Your RS or resource specialist has a job and their job is to make sure you have access to communication, whether it's court, employment, school, or many other places. The advocates are available to help train and consult with people all around in schools and agencies. Are you planning to go to college? Here's a quick tip. You know, high school and college are two different worlds. When you're ready to go to college, you are now responsible to create your schedule, to set up your classes, and to get interpreters and captionists you have to make sure that you have access to communication. Also, it's important when you're making your schedule to do it way in advance because I have to let you know currently we are faced with a limited number of interpreters and captionists due to the high demand right now. You will have to be ready for that. You're going to have to try to get an interpreter or captionist in advance, a few months possibly prior to school starting. So are you ready to self-advocate?